ciao. We're in Bologna. Got my bags. I'm gonna have to go out and get an Italian sim um, and then change some money and then look for my driver. I get a driver. So my driver found me before I could, before I could find everything else. And here he is. Looks like a new car. I'm here in Italy to attend the Social Travel Summit, a travel bloggers conference sponsored by the Emilia Romano Tourism Board. The conference location is a one-hour drive from here in the small city of Ravenna, which is known for its UNESCO World Heritage mosaics. I can't wait for this new adventure to begin. Hey there, Good Travis. Welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you some of the best things to do when you are in Ravenna. Hello? Hello? Yes, um, I'm one of the guests. Yeah, please, come in. I arrive. Oh, okay. Okay. We are not always here. Uh-huh. Wow! This is my room? It should be. <laughs> it's huge. Okay. Yeah. Also for the feet. Yeah. Oh, we have a resident dog. Looking at this room in photos on the website, the photos just don't do it justice. But being here in person and see, like, feeling this room, just even walking up the foyer and up the stairs and stuff, like seeing how everything is just very dressed to like the 16th century type of feeling. <sighs> It was amazing, it was wonderful. The caretakers live in their own house. Supposedly, no one's here when guests aren't arriving. So it's not like a normal hotel in the sense of there's gonna be someone around the clock here in the, the hotel. I'm wondering how it'll be at night when everything's dark. It feels very gothic and it's immediately reminding me of movies where you know somebody goes off into the countryside, the Italian countryside, and the, the mansion is haunted. I've seen scary movies where like these cherubs come alive. Look at this beautiful town. I got a feeling I'm gonna crash into this party. I'm just imagine that we didn't happen like Straight off, the town looks a lot bigger on the map than it is when you're actually walking it. It's a really cute and charming town. I can't even express that more with like these little pathways that are like winding. Everything's got a feeling of being a little removed from time. You feel like time runs a little slower here and that's not a bad thing at all. This is Piazza del Popolo at night. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. Sadly, I started my day a little late when I got in. I was very jet lagged from two days worth of travel. Tried on some Italian stretchy jeans and I instantly woke up. Everybody will be on me, wanna join me when I take a show. Take a show. I'll be the center of attention like I was some jeggy. The streets are alive day and night. Even though it's not like terribly clustered with people, it kind of goes at its own pace. I'm here outside Alice Pizza, which seems to be like the pizza spot here in Ravenna. And I have some Cudini. The girl inside there, she warned me that this would be spicy and I have no idea what Italian spicy would actually be. So I went ahead and ordered it. Fingers crossed. So this was four euro, which is pretty good. That's maybe around five dollars for me US. This would be one of your little cheap eats because meals here will run you anywhere from eight euro and up. I will be honest, the moment the oil from the crust touched my tongue and then followed the, the tomatoes, I knew I was gonna love it. A little spicy, but not not really like not like Korean spicy, not Thai spicy, not um, spicy. Hey, yeah. 
Cause I'm just an accident way to do I'm recovering from jet lag. Getting ready to go out today. Today's gonna be like my first official day in Ravenna, even though I went out yesterday. I was kind of like sleepwalking yesterday um, until I had some candy and I went <laughs> clothes shopping. I'm gonna film and do as much as I can before my conference starts uh, tomorrow. So see what we can see in a day even though I'm gonna be here for a, a little extra. So this is probably the Ravenna equivalent to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Some might not know is that Ravenna is actually built upon kind of like marshland. In a way, this entire city is kind of built on somewhat unstable ground. Uh, but it's been like this for like centuries. There's so many dogs here, I love it. And another one right there. This impressive, stunning building behind me is the Alighieri uh, Theater. And you'll find a lot of events happen here in this building. Exploring Ravana, you might find some space invaders around town. What I mean is this, this artwork right here. It's a mosaic that's been created by this French artist called Invader and it is modeled after Space Invader. It's like a mosaic and this whole city is like a UNESCO site because of their mosaics. They'll be in admission to a lot of the UNESCO sites. It's around 9.50 and basically it gains you entry into all four um, mosaic sites as well as a museum. So. I think it's highly worthwhile. All of these sites are the UNESCO sites that the city is known for. Definitely worth the money. We are outside the Bastero Nioniano. They had Baptist baptisms here. I guess now it's turned into kind of like a bit of a wishing well. If you look above, you'll see Christ is getting baptized and flanking him are the 12 apostles. I wasn't sure if I would be able to find everything just because on the map everything looks a whole lot more spaced out than it actually is. So far I've just been wandering and I've been coming across some of these impressive sites. I think we found it. And please let there be a bathroom. I really have to use the toilet right now. Thank you for sharing, Chris. <laughs> Right here is the San Francesco. I hope I pronounced that right. This church is dedicated to St. Francis of Sissi and it's supposedly this area is known for being Dante's, Dante's district of the city. This is a wonderful spot. Last night, I accidentally stumbled upon this church because I was so jet lagged and tired. 
there was a service going on and <laughs> thankfully it offered me a lot of rest that I needed. I mean, not that I snoozed through the entire service, but I did get some rest in it. Below you'll find there's a lower crypt area that's flooded and supposedly has cold fish in it. It does cost one euro in order to have the light on. And the light just went off. So we have the tourist information office right here and you can get your like maps of the city. Dante Alighieri was a poet that wrote the Divine Comedy. Um, it said that he was actually a Florentine or like a, a citizen of Florence, but he got excommunicated and came out here to Ravenna. This is where he actually died in 1327. This might be a pretty good spot to get stuck under when it's raining. Well, not really, but <laughs> you get my idea. When you're in Italy or when you're in a foreign country and you're a girl, can't help but like not want to try some like their fads. We're at Camillo Benso Conte di Cavour. That was a lot of words. I had to read it from the sign. You'll find a lot of boutique shops with a lot of clothing and apparel from pricey to like regular casual. I feel satisfied now. Now that I have my Italian wear. Now normally I'm not like a shopaholic at all, but when I walked by the sign and it said sale, it caught my eye. So right now I'm kind of like at this Walter Gala. So give me something to do, yeah I can't stay here because I need to dance Jump, jump around and show them how I move longest mosaic I've seen. Now the task is to sneak in without being seen. <laughs> There's just no way we're gonna be able to not be seen when we sneak in. The chino here is very delicious. And they said that they prepare it by hand. Right now I'm outside the Basilica of San Apollinare. And um, the Basilica here was made in the sixth century. You'll see back there the bell tower is made in the 10th century. Thanks for watching! It's through resourcefulness and viewers like you who keep my channel going. So if you love what I do and want to see me continue creating solo travel videos, support me on Patreon. Jump behind the scenes with others for my latest trip updates and reward perks. Stay tuned for more Italy videos as I take you behind my solo travel adventures. Until then, travel stay smart and fun, and may the girl be with you.